Okay, so last time I played this game, uh, I guess it cut out part way through the stream, unfortunately. But uh, the game is called The Little Laker. It's uh, by a small development team out of Ireland. Pretty fun little cartoon style adventure game. And where I'm going to pick up this time probably will be shortly after where the last video left off. And that's going to be with the uh, father having disappeared to somewhere unknown. And the uh, little girl is uh, off to fend for herself for breakfast. Look, Dougal, everything's laid out already. I should just make it myself. It's porridge. What could go wrong? <laughs> Big old bag of oats. Prepare to be eaten. Hey, wait a minute. It's empty. <gasps> <laughs> okay, I can fix this. All I need is a fresh bag of oats, a new bowl, and then to place a pot over the fire. Easy. What was Dad worried about? Ugh, Dad tied a knot around the handle again. He must be trying to keep you away from the bowls, Dougal. Dougal, attack that string! <laughs> Good dog. Never adventured on an empty stomach. Dougal probably would have fetched the oats if I asked him, but I didn't trust him not to eat them. <laughs> pretty smart, but he didn't know how to put together a breakfast. <laughs> Alright, what am I missing? Nothing in the inventory. Can't seem to walk anywhere. Alright, let's find out. Hey, Dougal, I think someone's at the door, boy. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's one good puppy.
Oh, God, here's, I did this all by myself. <laughs> Hang on. Where is Dad? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For a moment, I wondered where I was. Then I noticed everything was different. I was different, but it was when I thought of Lily that it no longer mattered why. I couldn't let her think that she had lost someone else. Somebody had left their belongings on the floor of the strange room. After glancing over the items, I realized some of them belonged to my dad. So, this is where you went. It was unusual to see dad without his hat, and vice versa. Then again, it was noticeably warmer than home. I decided to take it with me. Dad's pipe had been left behind, and in more pieces than the last time I saw it. No wonder, if his entrance was anything like mine was. <laughs> Among the collection of things, there was a notebook, but I didn't recognize the owner's handwriting. A quick scan showed it to be filled with scientific notation, none of which I could make sense of. A glass jar had been left next to the other belongings, emitting a faint white light. Assuming unusual objects to be important seemed like a good rule of thumb, so I picked it up. The door's release mechanism wouldn't function without power. As well as being a fire hazard, it was extremely inconvenient for me. A fire hazard, huh? <laughs> There was a pair of niche panels on one of the walls, each containing an empty spherical socket. Whatever the rightmost socket was supposed to do, it didn't seem to be able to do it while the lab was unpowered. Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. The lab had some power, but none of it was reaching the door release mechanism. Just enough power to distribute to the door release. There was just a. Oh, not getting that back. All right. Come on, come on. Okay, let's figure this out. It took a large amount of power to get me here. Logic dictated that it would take something similar to get me home. I was going to have to venture outside to find it. And in the back of my mind, I hoped that I might find my father along the way. Hmm, Dad must have gone to town without telling us. Oh well, time to go to work. Heroes are good at saving people, but I never got a chance to save her. So, we meet again. Watch your back, gnome. took the stretchy rope from the tractor. Every adventurer needs rope. I think that's one of the mandatory things you pick up for every D&D &D character. Makes sense. 
<laughs> right where I left it. Dougal did his best to keep me out of danger. It was so annoying. <laughs> I'm pretty good at climbing things, but only when I can reach them. <laughs> Grandad would have been proud of my giant slingshot. <laughs> I wasn't strong enough to pull myself back. Smart little kid. <laughs> Hopefully we haven't missed any customers. Dad says we're running out of money. He's doing his best to find a job. He's probably gone to town for that exact reason. So until then, we've got to do our best to help out. Hey, Breeze! You didn't pay for that! Good thing wings can't ride bikes. Wait. If Dad's bike is still here, where's he been all morning? I had a bad feeling, and I was pretty sure it had nothing to do with the parge. <laughs> Dad's bike, which meant he was still around the house. I'd never run away from home. Besides, there was an adventure to be had. All right, gnome. How about you don't tell Dad I went outside? Just this once. Traitor! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> With gnome out of the way. I was free to start looking for Dad. Dad had probably already checked. Nobody ever sent us anything interesting anyway. It felt like a dream. I was being led down a path, and short of curling up into a ball, I was helpless to do anything about it. I considered going back inside and just waiting for someone to find me. But I knew that if I wanted to get back to Lily soon, I'd have to find the source of power for the machine that brought me here. And I wasn't coming back until I found it. It looked like the blue lamp also acted as a door release. I had everything I needed from the cupboard. He took his hat with him. At least that ruled out alien abduction. I heard that's a thing that can happen now. I tried getting Dougal to pick up Grandad's scent. No dice. <laughs> Blind goes down. Ooh, shiny. I probably shouldn't touch it. <laughs> Come on. Hey, how come when 
an eye draw on the walls, it's a bad thing. <laughs> Clump, fit, clump, fe fear, huh? That was pretty much my thought. when Grandad is busy in the shed. Could he be back? The pump handle was shorter than I remembered. <laughs> Maybe I just grew a lot overnight. <laughs> nice. Grandad would pretend he did everything for a reason, but I think he just liked to decorate. I wasn't allowed to go into the shed, which made it the best place for playing in. <laughs> Dad, are you in here? Granddad wouldn't mind me borrowing a little bit of paper. I'm going to need a guinea pig. Oh no. Godspeed, Sir Puzzle Puff. Whoa! He's gone. Of all the souls I have encountered in my travels, his was the most fuzzy. <laughs> Dougal, this must be where everyone went. What if something happened? I need to go after them. Dougal did his best to keep me out of danger. It was so annoying. deeper into the swamp, I began to feel uneasy. From the gnarled and twisted branches of bizarre trees to the clamor of unrecognizable creatures filling the air, it was clear I was a long way from home. Environments are pretty cool. I like the uh, the art style, and one of the fun, kind of cool little things is these little details, like the little frogs in the background here. You know, or in this case, I should say, oh, you know, fireflies and whatnot. It's little things to bring the area to life.
speaking and bringing the areas to life and the squishy little sounds when he jumps on the leaf pads. when she comes down here if we'll end up going through the same thing all over again. Guess I'm gonna find out. <laughs> she definitely had a much better landing than her dad. <laughs> oh my god. I'm adorable. <laughs> I couldn't wait to see what dad looked like. Oh, there's her puzzle His sacrifice puff. will never be forgotten. I guess we won't be getting it back. This is Granddad stuff, I knew it. <laughs> My apologies. I don't see many like you. Who... who are you? Mayor... Mayor? No, just Mayor. I'm not sure where I am. Can you help me get home? Maybe help each other? Come, sit. Oh, I want to live here. <laughs> Yeah. My sword was mighty, but I needed to find a weak spot. What did I ever do to you? <laughs> oh, jeez. long ago. They had machines kept us warm, safe. Now I am alone, and the machines not work. Well, I'll take a look, but if I do, will you help me get home? By fixing machine, you return home. So it's the same generator that powers the lab. Okay, show me. Follow. A ramshackle wooden dwelling lay at the edge of the swamp. Presumably it was where Mare lived.
Whoever had made the engravings appeared to understand the concept of traveling to other worlds like I had. They also appeared to place a lot of value in doing so. Next to Mare's toolbox was a single peculiar glove. What is this? Whoa! Careful. Uh, sorry. Huh. Hey, this looks like my father's toolbox. It is his toolbox. So he's been here. Have you seen him? Arthur. You have? Where is he? Took crystal. Stole crystal. Then left. Where did he go? What is this place? Sacred place. History and future. Your people wrote this? Always been here. And then your people left? When? One hundred years? More? A hundred years? Does this radio also belong to my father? I wonder why he thought it would work so far from home. In one corner of the room were several flowers laid out in a grid pattern. There was something familiar about it. Hmm, it's not accepting the same pattern as last time. I need to find a pattern for home somehow. <laughs> a 4x4 grid of small cubes lay at the bottom of the pool. I presumed it would display the pattern to doll home, but I wasn't sure how. A skittish indigenous creature was sitting on the flat surface in front of the pool. Mm. Nah. <laughs> hmm. Not enough power. From what I could see, Mare wasn't going to get very far without a power source. There was a large bulbous plant blocking a pipe at the top of the stairs. It felt like it was full of water. I've had better ideas. <laughs> mm, nah. Somehow, a bluish light was emanating from some of the cracks in the wall. Somehow, a bluish light was en engraved into one of the walls was the scene of worship. The object of their adoration looked like a hole in the sky. I've had better ideas. <laughs> I've had better ideas. I 
don't think that would have helped. I don't think that would A skittish indigenous creature. In front of the pool of shallow water, there was a small, flat surface. I would have guessed at a ceremonious function, but the entire structure appeared to have purpose. Mm. Nah. A 4x4 grid of small... I pre to be using my father's toolbox, although he wouldn't explain why he had it. I didn't want to press the issue. My main goal was getting out of there. Mm. <laughs> A 4x4 grid of small... I presumed it would display the pattern... Also appeared to somehow a bl engraved into one of the walls was that the object of their adoration looked like a hole in the sky. light was emanating from some of the I don't think that would have tell me again why I can't zap the plant <laughs> from what I could see light was emanating from somehow a blue hmm. somehow a bluish light yeah use the glove on the blue light try that appeared to be I didn't want to
somehow a bluish light. No, it doesn't seem to matter where I'm standing. So it is a known issue, but it looks like there might be a couple of workarounds. The crystal hidden behind the wall looks similar to the one I had seen earlier that day. Grid of I presume. I wouldn't have thought it possible, but this machine was even less safe than anything my father created. <laughs> People wrote this? Always been here. And then your people left? When? One hundred years? More? A hundred years?
picked up a screwdriver from the overturned toolbox. Construction removed, I can hear water flow through the pipes to another part of the building. that worked. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? to the monster that just tried to have you as a snack. friend of your father's, I... I've been out here for a while thinking about how to say this in a way that you'd believe me, but then... But then, about a minute ago, I heard that sound. You've been there, haven't you? To Clanfira. Yes, and I need to get back there. My... You mustn't go back there! It's dangerous! Your father... He was killed! I'm so sorry! He... He... What? Lily! Lily's there! In Clanfira! You have to help me bring her home, please! Oh my god! Come with me! We need to get to my lab! Hurry! But then he spat me out. He's probably not used to his food poking him with a sword. And then I saw you! Although, you already knew that bit. You're a good listener, like Dougal. Hey, what's your name, by the way? Mm, well... You're like a big bug, so I'm gonna call you Bugsy, okay? So, will you help me find my family? Okay, first, let's get out of here. Bugsy was definitely too heavy to climb the vine. I might be able to climb this. Oof! Or not. Why are all the good climb spots always out of reach?
Hey, Bugsy, give me a boost. Just use the doggy door this whole time? Come on then. <laughs> hey! Rude! Oh, look at that thing! It's like a fat squirrel! What did he ever do to you? What? Hey! Hmm. He must have gone into one of these flowers. I hope you're as good at tracking as Dougal is. Ah. Uh. Trust me. Smell this. Here, I'll be right back. Okay, I don't have any more crystals of the type Arthur used, but I have this. Wait, why can't we just use that with my father's machine? Because we don't want to blow up the whole countryside. I'll explain Wait, when we get what? to my lab. I'm hoping that I'll be able to send you to Clinfira from here, but they're not going to just let me bring someone into the building. You should be able to sneak in through the side entrance. Just make sure no one sees you. I'll go on ahead and get started. See you soon. Hang on, Lily. I'm on the way. I was too preoccupied to notice me. Hey, did you stop making so much noise? Try to be stealthy.
The door was locked. Of course it was. Uh -huh. The small grate covering the vent was secured with a padlock. Mm. Nah. <laughs> Through the window, I could see there was someone inside. Luckily, he was too busy to notice me. Hey! The cat was too... There was no turning back. I had to... Ah. Okay. Somebody had hidden the key underneath the flower pot. The door only stayed open for a moment before swinging shut behind the cat. I was gonna have to find another way in. So how about the grate you just opened? The door only stayed open for a moment before swinging shut behind the cat. I was gonna have to find another way in. I've had better ideas. I'm usually a stickler for avoiding fire hazards, but this was for the greater good. My new psychic had left me with a way in. I'd made it into the canteen. The worker was still there, facing towards the lift. <sighs> no cats. <laughs> I got the feeling that wasn't his first run-in with the cat. There was one of those new microwave ovens I had heard about in the corner of the canteen. The idea of almost instant porridge was attractive, but trying to keep Lily away from it wasn't. I couldn't tell if the lab worker's suit was for his job, or for using the microwave oven. <laughs> the lift would have taken me down to Nina's lab, but not without being seen. I've had better I <sighs> If I'd known earlier that I'd be standing on a narrow ledge above a hydroelectric dam, I wouldn't have gone out of bed that morning. Ah! Whoa, whoa. There's nothing worse than a territorial bird when you're shimming across. I'd scared enough animals with the mask for one day. Ah! Oh. 
It wasn't gonna help me fly, but I figured I could use it for something. I considered tickling him, and then I reconsidered. <laughs> nice. Oh, here we go. It was hard to tell where the genuine hydroelectric machinery stopped and the experimental tech began. <laughs> 